Paul Klebnikov was an American journalist and historian of Russia. He worked for Forbes magazine for more than 10 years and at the time of his death was chief editor of the Russian edition of Forbes. His murder in Moscow in 2004 was seen as a blow against investigative journalism in Russia. Three Chechens accused of taking part in the murder were acquitted. Though the murder appeared to be the work of assassins for hire, as of 2018, the organizers of the murder had yet to be identified. Klebnikov joined the Forbes in 1989 and gained a reputation for investigating murky post-Soviet business dealings and corruption. In 1996, he wrote a cover story for Forbes titled Godfather of the Kremlin. With the kicker power politics murder, Boris Berezovsky could teach the guys in Sicily a thing or two. Comparing Russian tycoon Boris Berezovsky to the Sicilian Mafia The article was published without a byline, but was widely known to be Klebnikov's work. Klebnikov soon received death threats, and took a break from reporting in Russia to live with his family in Paris. Meanwhile, Klebnikov expanded the article into the 2000 book Godfather of the Kremlin, Boris Berezovsky and the Looting of Russia. Believed to be based heavily on interviews with Alexander Korzakov, the head of security for former President Boris Yeltsin, the book described the privatization process used by Yeltsin as the robbery of the century and detailed the alleged corruption of various Russian business people, particularly focusing on Berezovsky. The book met with mixed reviews in journalistic circles. A review in the New York Times praised it as richly detailed and effectively angry. Klebnikov released a second book, Conversation with a Barbarian, Interviews with a Chechen Field Commander on Banditry and Islam, in 2003. The book is a transcript of a lengthy interview with Chechen rebel leader Haz Ahmed Nakayev, conducted in Baku, Azerbaijan. In the course of the interview, Nakayev gives his views on Islam and Chechen society. On July 9, 2004, while leaving the Forbes office, Klebnikov was attacked on a Moscow street late at night by unknown assailants who fired at him from a slowly moving car. Klebnikov was shot four times and initially survived, but he died at the hospital after being transported in an ambulance that had no oxygen bottle and the hospital elevator that was taking him to the operating room broke down. Authorities described the attack as a contract killing. The publisher of the Russian edition of Forbes stated that the murder was definitely linked to Klebnikov's journalism. Various commentators have speculated that the magazine's recent story on Russia's 100 richest people may have triggered the attack, others suspect Berezovsky of being behind the murder. In 2004, the Committee to Protect Journalists posthumously named Klebnikov one of four winners of the CPJ International Press Freedom Awards. An organization named the Paul Klebnikov Fund was established in his memory to award an annual Courage Prize to journalists as well as granting internships to young Russian journalists to work in Western media.